So I make a lot of screencasts to share directions and in this video I want to show you why I ditched Loom and started using Guide. So this is my friend Kate and I need to share directions with her how to use this website Upbeat to download some royalty free music. So what I'm going to do is go to app.guide.com where I'm going to sign up for a free account. Now once you sign up you're going to want to install the free Google Chrome extension. The free plan will give you 25 magic captures. So I'm at Upbeat and I am ready to record my screencast. You'll notice that the Guide Chrome extension is up at the top. I'm just going to select that Guide Chrome extension and I'm going to hit capture. From here I'm going to select this one, Product How To's. And I'm going to describe my how to, how to download a song from Upbeat. The capture is now about to start and from here I just have to model the process for Kate. Now once I'm finished, I can just select the stop button. And just like that, I'm taken back to my guide account. You can see, using artificial intelligence, Guide created a step-by-step -step tutorial that I can share with Kate, complete with titles. There's different steps at the bottom that you can toggle back and forward with, and you can play it just like a video. Now this video looks okay, but it's not quite the way that I want it yet, so I do have the ability to go in and edit this video. If I want to narrate this with specific directions, I can record a voiceover by clicking this button on each one of these steps. There's also an option for me to use text to voice features if I sign up for a plan. Now at the bottom, if I don't want this background or if I want to change the text, these are all things that I can change from this individual panel. Now you can see right over here, just hover my mouse on that box. I can go in and change that. For this one, I'm going to leave it the way it is, but for this next slide, I'm going to to change this text with more specific text. I'm then going to go to my next slide. It says click here. What I'm going to do is modify this bit. I'm going to say click here to download. And again, I'm just going to provide more specific directions over here. Now again, if I want to go in and change any of the objects that are highlighted, these are things that I can do with guide. So I think this looks good for now. What I'm going to do here is go to save changes. And now I want to share these directions with Kate and this is why I really like Guide over some other services because you have multiple options for sharing. The first thing I can do is copy this link. If I select copy link, I can share this link when Kate clicks on it. She can either play the video, she can go step by step and see some of the different steps that are on here or by scrolling down, you'll notice there's even specific step by step documentation. So, so many effective ways to share directions. Now, maybe I want to share this in a different way. So I'm going to choose this option, copy GIF. So from here, I can write an email and I can paste that GIF. There it is, the GIF will self play directly inside the body of that email or on social media, a very cool feature. But I'm not quite done yet because there is an option where I can export this. So this allows me to download an actual video, a PDF or slides with a paid plan. I also have the option to embed this specifically on a website or on a Notion page. So between the PDF copy, the slides, the GIF, the video and the link. That's five different ways that I can share these directions in Guide. And right now you can check out Guide in Product Hunt. You'll see it right now it's number one. So just go ahead, click on Guide, visit, sign up, and if you like it, go ahead and give Guide an upvote. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions on Guide or any other questions, you know what to do. Leave them in the comments section below.